Once upon a time, when animals and humans communed directly with the Creator, also known as Elidumari Adeda Asheda in the Yoruba language, they had very close link with God such that they had speedy answers to their requests. Both animals and humans were able to fellowship with God regularly. One day, an animal called Gorilla, who had always been in hiding, thought because of his ugly look, he was not to be seen by all, especially humans. So he wanted God to change his status from being an animal to being a human. This was because the humans, in his opinion, were able to do many amazing things such as walk on two legs, do many wonders with their hands and having the ability to talk clearly with one another. More so because the humans all looked beautiful with their smooth faces and all. And so it was that on one of the occasions he was opportuned to present his requests before God, he made a specific request to be turned into a human being. We all know that God Almighty, the Creator, all-powerful, all-knowing, and there is nothing he can't do. Therefore, the gorilla's request was no big deal to him. Nevertheless, God warned the gorilla that the ways of the humans were unpredictable and that their minds are wicked and full of evil. But the gorilla insisted on becoming a human being. And so, the creator agreed to grant the gorilla's request on one condition, that he will have to wait for seven days during which he will be gradually transformed into a human. Gorilla was extremely excited and he promised to wait patiently for seven days. So he went to his home happily. On the first day, he waited happily. On the second day, yes, he waited patiently. The third, fourth, up to the fifth day, Gorilla waited patiently in hope of his transformation. But on the sixth day, something happened. The sixth day in the world of the humans happened to be a day of merriment, visitations, and celebration. This day happened to be what we now know as weekend today. And so, the gorilla became tempted. He was very impressed by the dancing and partying that he wanted to become a part of it. In no time, he jumped out into the midst of the humans. Then he started singing. Mandeninho, 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 Oni Oi Ola O Mandeninho, 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 Oni Oi Ola O Mandeninho, Mandeninho, Mandeninho. You tell me what you did, me Oni Oi Ola Mandeninho, Mandeninho, Ni Si Runi Ti Mi Mo. The humans were very terrified because they had never seen the gorilla before. They thought it was an evil spirit and so they all ran away in fear. When everywhere suddenly became quiet and the area empty, that was when the gorilla remembered the condition he was given by the creator 
and this was just the sixth day just one more day to go he realized he had disobeyed god up until the sixth day he had been transforming gradually and would have completely transformed into being fully human on the seventh day but because he was in a haste this could no longer be and so out of shame he ran into the forest to continue to live as an animal till this day this is why although the gorilla remain an animal he still has some semblance to that of human beings the end